Well, let's come back to this vehicle that's low on refrigerant because it has the leaks at the condenser and the O-rings at the expansion valve. And customer wants cooling, hot day. Their air, most customers will drive around or you, the owner of your car, will go, well, I get some cooling out of my, I feel something on my hand. Well, let's look at something right now. It's a cool day out. It's still morning time here in San Francisco. And inside the car, the return air temperature is 89 degrees because the car is closed up. It has a high sun load. It has dark interior. And as you can see, the sun is down low right now. It's only almost 10 o'clock. You can see where I'm taking the temperature right there. I have it on recycle and I'm taking the return air temperature down there just where the air gets sucked up so we know what the temperature of the air going over the evaporator coil. So we're getting roughly 5.7 degrees of cooling plus you have the sweat on your hand and you have the air blowing so the customer believes they're getting some cooling. Let's look at the temperature of the suction line returning coming back to the compressor with the gas blowing it. We come down here it's 99 degrees right here. This compressor really is not getting any cooling. There's no subcooling to cool the compressor. Now let's go all the way right at the evaporator. Let's see if we get right there. We got a green light. It's making contact. And what is our temperature right there? We got 77 degrees of temperature of refrigerant gas at this point. But by the time it picks up engine heat, traveling like a big fin, like a big condenser, you know, the fins on a heat exchanger, it's actually absorbing heat through the hose and it's getting heated as it comes over to this point. And it's 99 degrees there, it's 77 degrees there. So it picks up 30 degrees as it travels from just out of the evaporator to this point right here. Um, what else? Oh the temperature so it's a cool morning there's no heat load over the condenser there's really not a, a big heat load because we're still in the morning we're not even we're not even 10 a.m. yet and the temperature is 180 degrees coming out of the compressor right now and the internals of the compressor will be 50 to 75 degrees at the point of compression think of the point of combustion uh, plus the friction loads and it's not even an electric compressor with electric windings adding even more heat So this would soar up into the high 200s if this was a nice hot hundred degree day And the customer attempts to keep using the AC because they believe it's doing something having that button on it is doing something What it is doing it's overheating the compressor it's putting wear and tear on the compressor and this is what burns out compressors and this is one of the things I've been trying to show in my videos that the guys who use the whack off can method with the single hose with the little green gauge or they go by temperatures or pressures. They fill the system just enough to get some cooling out of the dash and it might be really cool there, but they still might not be charged enough to give the proper superheat for cooling back to the compressor, but it makes the customer happy. The technician believes he did a good job because he has nice cold air, but the compressor is uh, suffering for it. All right, guys, I'll see you. That's, uh, I think, all I need to tell you, and that's all I have time for today. See ya.